What's up guys, it's Muhammad from Product Feedback and I'm here with an unboxing of the Sony Tablet S. Now for you guys wondering how did I get my hands on this? Well, I entered a competition a little while ago to report from CES and I did get voted by you guys as a finalist. But unfortunately, they uh, picked someone else and even though I was extremely disappointed and I disagree with their decision, uh, I can't do much about it. And basically, they've given me a Sony Tablet S as a consolidation prize, which look, it's still all right, but you know, I really wanted to report for you guys in CES, so we'll see how we go. Anyway, unboxing this uh, bad boy. Basically, you get the tablet on the inside. This is a Android 3.2 device. And I hope it does get upgraded to Android 4.0, but we're just checking out to see what it comes with inside the product. Inside the box, you obviously get the tablet and you get the uh, power charging adapter. It actually uses a little charging uh, adapter similar to what the old Sony Ericsson stuff used to use. So it's a pretty interesting port and you can buy a dock for it to be used on a table or on a desk as a photo frame. You also get some other bits and pieces inside, just some information about the device, and that's basically it. And you also get a little uh, hand strap for the device. Now looking at the Sony tablet itself, it is a 9.4 inch LED lit true black screen. Uh, the screen, after using it actually, I was uh, pretty happy with, but the viewing angles could be a bit better. Anyway, check, taking a look at it, you can see it's got a nice screen. It's actually pretty lightweight. Um, I was surprised it, it doesn't actually weigh much. It feels quite hollow, but still very sturdy But something unique about it is this curved sort of booked fold over kind of design uh, I really like it that gloss there which you're looking at is actually textured So it's like a rubbery slash glossy texture. Uh, I really like the device. I think this shape is fantastic uh, on one side we've got the power button the volume button and also uh, one of the speakers on the other side, we've got the headphone jack. Uh, we've got a little slot that opens up here, which gives you access to a mini HDMI, which is unfortunate, it's not a full size. And the SD card slot, and also another speaker, and the little hand strap. And on the bottom, pretty much the same as it, uh, as it is, just the fact that you got the plug-in adapter for the power. Now, turning the device on, like I said, the screen's color contrast look fantastic. I actually like how it's curved up. Uh, I think for typing on, uh, on a flat surface, that extra like little four degrees of it being raised up is uh, actually very, very, very good. And I'm very satisfied with the way it's designed. And also it's very comfortable to hold in your hands because you've got somewhere to rest your fingers. So if you're playing the certified PlayStation games that it comes with, it comes with uh, Crash Bandicoot and Pinball uh, as standard. But unfortunately through the app store looking at the moment, I didn't really find too many apps and I was a little bit disappointed. But the screen is actually very responsive. I found it to be a lot more responsive than the Acer Arconia tab and also to the Toshiba Thrive. I think this has got one of the best so far Android touchscreens. I haven't played around with the Motorola Zoom enough, but when I get my hands on that, I'll let you know how it stacks up against this device. Um, personally, you got the uh, nice little webcam on the front, which is good for Skype, and you got a uh, 5 megapixel camera around the back, I believe. Now, they did a little bit of customization to the software. Uh, you do get some of their custom icons and a few different applications, uh, which I'll go through in the full review. To be honest, I wish I didn't do any of that. I don't mind them putting different apps on there, but I really dislike this sort of white uh, design they did for the application stuff. They shouldn't touch things which they don't need to touch, basically, that's, that's what I'm saying. So I'm happy for them to install apps on there, but I'm not happy for them to touch the UI that much because there's no advantage to it and you're just ruining basically a already well-designed uh, operating system. Same old home screens, as you can see, there are some different widgets. If you guys haven't already, please check out my channel for more videos like this and please subscribe because I will be putting up the full review of this product when it comes out. Muhammad signing out and peace be with you all and see you soon shortly. Bye-bye.